Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of Visual PowerPoint Crafts series, we'll talk about animation of Excel charts in PowerPoint. If you are a busy business presenter, you might have seen that pretty much every business presentation has some sort of data presentation, data number presentation, and the best way to visualize numbers is to use charts. And if you work with charts, you would have realized that the best tool to create charts is not PowerPoint but Excel. Because when you use PowerPoint, the chart function doesn't have all the capabilities that Excel provides. As you can see here, there are not too many options here. Whereas if you were to go to Excel, this is Excel 2013 environment here. When I want to create the chart, say, this one I have selected the sample numbers here and I want to create a chart instead of just going to all these chart options here I have something called recommended charts option I click on it and I can choose the kind of chart that I want and as I click on each of them you can see how the chart looks the preview is available so some very very useful things are available in Excel rather than in PowerPoint to create chart presentations so let us say I want to make the simple column chart here and press OK. Now when I make a presentation of this chart, I have a limitation here. Excel doesn't allow me to add custom animation to my charts. So I don't have the ability to first show the audience the two axes explain things about the axis and then reveal my uh, presentation series by series when the number series by series or category by category etc. What if we could have the power of Excel charts and the animation capabilities of PowerPoint combined? We get some amazing results. Many people think that you need to build your charts within or inside PowerPoint to be able to use the custom animation feature. Nothing is farther from the truth. Now let me show you how this chart that I created in Excel, I right click copy, go to PowerPoint, right click paste, maybe I can even expand it the way I want. Now I have the chart available with me here. I can very easily click on the bounding box, go to animation and I can choose any animation I want. For example, I use wipe animation. Not only do I have the power to make this animation um, to show, to have this whole chart wiped, but I also can go to animation pane, right click on the option here, go to effect options and here you have in the dialog box this option called as chart animation, just as you would get if you were to create the chart using PowerPoint. And here I have an option to animate the chart either by series or by category. Let me select by series and say OK. Now when I go here, when I click first, I can, I get the axis first. Now I can explain the axis and then I can present the numbers. If I were to have multiple series here, you can see that on each click another series gets revealed so it makes it easier for me to explain my numbers to my audience. So you will be able to get the best of both worlds when you have Excel and PowerPoint used in tandem to create your chart, to create your number presentations. There is something more. When you combine the power of these two software, you get to create some mind blowing charts like this. These are some of the examples that I have taken from our Visual PowerPoint Graphs Pack. And you can see here that this chart looks so stunning that you can't believe that it is actually a, a data-driven chart. But the reality is it is. Let me say that I want to edit this uh, graphic. I click on it and immediately you can see the bounding box appearing here. I can right click and here you have the option to edit data in PowerPoint 2013. You can edit data just the way it is using the worksheet available in PowerPoint. Or you can edit data in Excel 2013 as well, which is a fantastic option. PowerPoint 2010 doesn't have that option. 
However, whatever that I have discussed so far, like sticking Excel chart into PowerPoint and having the animation happening works in PowerPoint 2010 as well. So let us say I want to edit data and uh, I want to change this value from 4.3 to say 6. You can see here that the value has changed. So it is indeed a data driven uh, chart. So let us close this. Let us go to another chart here. This is an infographic. Believe me, this is not uh, a clip art. It is actually a data driven chart. Let me show you how we can edit this like the way we did earlier, edit data. I go here, maybe you can observe the data for April. It is 11 here. I am going to make this into say 16 and you can see how the chart has changed. The same way, because of the power of PowerPoint and Excel, you can combine the images like this, like this uh, tab phone, which is once again created entirely using PowerPoint, the smart art phone and we have used that as a placeholder to place our bar chart here. And we have done something similar for this one as well. We have created this laptop graphic entirely using PowerPoint and you have some very useful tutorials to create such shapes. Um, when you go to our channel, you would be able to find out some very remarkable shapes that you can create using PowerPoint. So we have created this laptop entirely in PowerPoint and then we have placed this graph on the screen. It is impossible to create such charts inside Excel itself. So now you combine the power of PowerPoint and Excel together. Sorry, that is our uh, dog, a Maltese dog. Now that we have created all these uh, Excel, all these charts, let me show you the source from where they come from. This is our 320 plus ready to use data driven graphs for your presentations. All the charts, the four charts that I've shown you come from this pack. There are some very interesting charts like dual thermometer, you have uh, funnel charts, butterfly charts, speedometer charts. All of them look stunning because you have combined the power of PowerPoint and Excel to create the pack. Hope you liked our tutorial on using animation feature of PowerPoint to enhance the appeal of your Excel charts. If you want to learn more such tutorials, if you want to read more articles that improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills, or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you've just seen, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.